Greg, where are we heading? We're headed to the gym right now. We got a big shoulder workout and octane shoot. We're gonna crush it. We've had some octane. I'm freaking ready to ready to rock and roll. Greg, let's have a guy to park in the middle of the parking lot. Here's cool. Samantha, do you wanna? All right, guys, I have an insane shoulder workout for you today. We're actually filming some sick content for the new supplement release. We have Black Cherry Overdrive and my favorite, Tropic Thunder. Exactly. Let's use it. Tropic Thunder. Literally dropping today. So if you want to check that out, hit the link in the description. But let's get through this workout. So this workout's actually starting off with one of my favorite exercises, and that's the standing military press. This is an incredible exercise to develop your shoulders and improve core strength. In fact, this exercise really showcases how strong you are. A lot of people can bench a lot and lift a lot, but when it comes time to do a standing press with all that core stability, they are weak. So this is one you want to get strong on. You know, 175. And I've actually experimented with just doing two hard work sets per workout. And I notice I actually make faster strength gains when I just do two hard sets and not the third set. I can pour in more intensity. So I've actually been seeing faster results doing two sets while cutting. And for my second set, we're doing 160 and we're repping 10 reps. And I find that for the standing press, I like to keep the reps a little bit higher, you know, six to eight for the first set, eight to 10 for the second set. That way you're not using as much weight as possible. So it's not as tough on the core and stability. Dropping the buy one, get one next week. First order of supplements. We're crushing a big shoulder workout. Now next, we're going into some heavy standing hammer curls, a great exercise to build your biceps and the outer bicep. We're starting off with 70 pounds, and then we're gonna you know, go for eight reps and then go down to 60 pounds. And just for fun, we're gonna finish off with actually a pinwheel curl, which is a great bicep movement to build the outer bicep, the brachialis, and give your arms really, really good definition. <laughs> Trying to make it natural. And now we're going into the triceps and it's really important to train your triceps hard because they're actually the second biggest muscle group by weight in your upper body. It's the shoulders first and then the triceps. Even They even have more weight than your chest. So it makes sense to pour a lot of attention into your triceps. And I'm actually trying a new exercise I don't do that much and it's actually the dumbbell kickback. One of my fitness friends, Brad Pilon, really loves this exercise. It's an exercise you can sub into your program if you want to take a break from skull crushers or push downs. That said, I don't know how much I love it because I find that the first, you know, six inches is really easy and it's just that last couple that's tough. So, you know, we mixed it up and it was, a fun, it was fun to try that exercise. I might do it for a couple weeks, but I definitely find skull crushers, lying skull crushers more effective because you get more tension throughout the entire range of motion. But you know, even in your routine, it's fun to mix in new exercises to see how they work for you because some people thrive on different movements and some people suffer. Like I have friends that really struggle with barbell movements with, you know, incline barbell, flat barbell, but they do really well on dumbbell. Whereas I find I get better gains with barbell training. I can make better strength gains. So it's important to, to test things yourself. And now, you know, we're finishing off the really cool routine. This is something sort of out of the playbook of strength coach um, Joe DeFranco. He does a lot of, you know, horizontal rowing supersetted with rear delts. And so what we're doing today is we're doing some lying rear delt raises supersetted with some sternum pull-ups and a completely killer workout to develop your rear delts and even your mid back. So give that a shot. Basically hit, you know, eight to 12 reps of rear delts followed by eight to 12 reps of 
you know, chest to bar pull-ups, no rest in between, do three rounds and your physique is cooked. You know, you've hit the overhead presses, you've crushed some arms, sternum pull-ups and rear delts. So your shoulders are blasted and your arms are blasted. You get a little bit of that mid back work. And just to kind of summarize, I've actually seen the best results when I leave the gym feeling strong and powerful. I know it's tempting to keep going, to do more sets, more exercises, you know, trash yourself. But when I do that, I do, you know, six, seven exercises, more sets, I never get stronger. It's only when I really simplify the training, dial it down, that I see the best possible results. And if you wanna learn the full system, definitely check out Movie Star Body, do the physique quiz. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to pick up the new supplements before they sell out. We're gonna be selling out of Tropic Thunder really fast. And you know, by the time you see this, you might be able to get a special crazy Black Friday deal. So hit the link below and I'll see you guys soon. Bend your front knee, there you go. Okay. Sit up nice and straight. Rotate that back knee in, there you go. And then we're gonna walk our hands down a little bit. Get even deeper. And then hip down to the floor. Left hip down. Yeah, there you go, perfect. Smart. How are you liking that, Greg? It's very good. It's very, very good. Oh. This is my one weakness. I don't, I don't stretch. You know, I, gotta, I could use a little more stretching. <laughs>